Welcome to Unwavering. My name is Harrison Painter and I'm here to take you on this kingdom-fueled journey. All right, we're, we're getting this fired up, right? This channel is more than just a carnivore channel, more than just videos of me cooking meat, but thank you to all the comments in those YouTube shorts. It means a lot. There's some good conversations that pop up in there and I'm very honored that a lot of folks go in there and take the time to leave a comment. So thank you very much for that. Now it's time to get real, and it's time for the pivot of this channel with what I feel that I'm called to do. And in a nutshell, it's really helping people get prepared, helping people understand the importance of reading the Bible, understanding the importance of putting God first in every aspect of your life. And many of us, myself for a long time included, never did that. I might have put him first in certain little compartments of my life, but not the whole thing. And in case you haven't noticed, it just takes a one time turning on the news. The world is crumbling at a pace that we have not seen, at least since World War II, <clears throat> at least since the, the, the whole thing there in World War II. The world is spiraling out of control, and I think this time around it's even worse because this, this phenomenon going on around the world of kind of conservative versus liberal and good versus evil and Christians versus Muslims and just all these different things that seem to be happening, gay versus straight and allyship and fascism and, and just all the division that's happening right now, we as Christians have a job to do through this. And it's not so much getting in the arguments and getting upset and getting angry. Look, the good news is we know how this ends. And we know that what's happening, we can't stop anyway. So if you're looking at this one world order or this fascist society or communist society, whatever it is, it's coming. It's biblical. We can't stop it. Our job is to fill, fulfill the Great Commission, to spread the Word of God, to let people know the gift that Jesus gave them. That if they simply repent of their sins and accept Jesus as their Savior, they can have eternal life. The greatest gift in the world. And we're all going to find out this little blip called life was just that. Just the little dash between two dates that our real life is coming on the other side of this one. Now, why it's so important is for us to stay focused is a couple of things, right? The world, I used to think evil was this sinister kind of diabolical genius thing. But the more that, the older I get and the more that I study this and the more that I observe Evil is really just stupidity because we know real knowledge, real wisdom comes from God. So that must mean stupidity comes from Satan, right? The demons are helping Satan create this chaos and that's even biblical. In 1 Corinthians 14, 33, we see that Satan is the author of confusion. Uh, Be not deceived, evil, evil communications corrupt good manners. And I am reading from the King James tonight, for those of you that that is important to. And so confusion. The, the, is the world not confused right now? We have LGBTQ people protesting for Hamas, right? And we know if these folks went to that area, they would be thrown off buildings or killed. Just seems like strange allies there. We've got a generation that doesn't understand what their identity is. They're identifying as whatever they want, whatever they feel. We have mental health issues all over the country with homelessness and drug addiction. Confusion everywhere. We've seen through the medical period here the last few years. We cannot trust our science. Who funded it? What lobbyists? What corporations? What is a real study? What are the real results? We don't know anymore. 
We look to our politicians, the people that we vote in, but they've all been bought and paid for. We want to do good for the planet, but you look at the way that global warming is presented, and it's hard to believe much of what's coming down. And if you think that drinking out of your little paper straw is making a difference, I, 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 we, we, need, we need to have a conversation about that. So the important thing is everybody's let us down. The culture's let us down. The leaders have let us down. The education system has let us down. Our churches, many of our churches have let us down. We have all gone so far astray. The church, in 1 Corinthians 12.12, 12, it says this, For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. We are all one member under Christ. But somehow, religion has corrupted the entire system of the church. We have broken up into so many pieces and it just keeps getting more and more and more broke up as we go down the line. But again, we know how this story ends. So our mission is simple, to fulfill that great commission, to spread the word of God and help save as many souls as we can by getting the word out there and letting people understand this, understand the gift, repent, and let Jesus save them. Like that's, that's the most important thing. And there's nothing more important than that. We have to be unwavering in this. Because again, if you read this Bible, you know things are going to get much worse. You know that persecution is coming. Might not be in our lifetime, at, you, know, you know, super big persecution, but it could. It absolutely could. The reason why the carnivore thing is here for me is, one, I, I want to get in the best possible shape I can, so that way I'm functioning at the most optimized level I can for my work, for my family, to make these videos, to study the Bible, right, to have the Holy Spirit work through me. And it's very important to take care of your body, your nutrition, and the way you feel. That's number one. And for me, carnivore has been a great pathway to do that. So I want to make it clear, I'm, we're not anti-vegan, I'm not part of a club, omnivore, whatever. I still eat a few things here and there, so that's not what this channel is about. If you eat vegan or you eat omnivore, or even right now if you're on the standard American diet, this channel is still for you. We can still all be one body under Christ regardless of how we are eating. But what we have to do together is prepare. What we have to do together is serve God. What we have to do together is spread this word. And the number one way I think we can do that is to help people get a passion again for reading this book, the Word of God. If you read this book every day, and I'll have some statistics for you here pretty soon, but if you read this book every day, depression goes down, suicides go down, uh, uh, just every statistic about your mental health raises in a positive way. The first time you read through it, you might not understand a tenth of this thing. Like, it can be very, very overwhelming. But the more you read it, the more you study it, there's, there's a Bible verse about it's the milk. First time you go through it, it's like a baby drinking milk, and eventually you start eating meat as you mature. Let's all stop drinking milk, and let's all start eating meat together. That's what's important. Now, of course, we can all debate and argue theological issues. But here, we want to focus on the foundation that I believe almost every Christian can at least agree on. And that is we are saved because we repent to Jesus because he died on the cross and gave us the gift of salvation because of his grace. And if we do that we will have eternal life and we get to be with the Father in heaven. I don't know a more important job out there than to spread that message. Now, we will be looking at theological issues. We will be looking at things in the culture. I will be sharing a lot of that stuff that's going on. Uh, and of course, we will be eating a lot of meat. 
along the way, but I at least want to frame it. So if, if, if you found this valuable, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment if this is something you're interested in. Uh, I'm not a pastor. I'm a teacher. I want to lead by example. And this is the ministry that I've been called to do. And I get chills even saying that because I never, ever, ever thought I would be doing this. Um, you know, if you've seen one of my past videos, I was raised. The, the two things you don't talk about publicly are religion and politics. And I adhered to that forever. My faith was a very private thing. So to do this, uh, yeah, it, 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 at first it was intimidating, but now it feels fantastic. So we're going to go deep. We're going to have some fun. We are going to spread the word. We're going to study the word together. We're going to eat some meat. If you want to eat some veggies, go ahead. Uh, but the one thing I ask is that we are always respectful to each other. And the mission here is to unite, not divide. But we do want to point out some false prophets, some false teachings, because again, Satan is the author of confusion. And right now there are a lot of churches, a lot of pastors, especially here, on video, on the internet, on YouTube, on Facebook, that are not teaching the Word of God. They're not teaching the Bible. They are teaching some kind of TED Talk, self-prosperity gospel that is not biblical, right? We want to do... Look, here's the simple thing. We want to read this, do what it says. That's it. Repeat. So let's do that. All right, folks. Well, that's it for this unwavering. And until next time, God bless you. And uh, I'm looking forward to jumping in the comment section with you. Thank you.